In this example, we need to solve the equation 3x minus 5 times the square root of x minus 12 equals 0. Well, what type of equation do we have here? Notice it has a square root in it, so it's a radical equation. There's only one square root, so I could solve it by isolating the square root and then squaring both sides. But there is another method of solving this, might be a little bit quicker. And that's if you notice that this equation is quadratic in form. So that means I have a times some quantity all squared plus b times the same quantity plus c equals zero. In this case, what variable expression goes in these parentheses? Well, it looks like it's going to be the square root of x. But let's double check. If I take the square root of x and square it, they undo each other. I get x which is the variable in my first term. So definitely this is quadratic in form where I have a times the square root of x all squared plus b times the square root of x plus c equals zero. The best way to solve these is by doing a u substitution. So we let u equal the square root of x. Then our equation becomes three. Well, what was x? x is the square root of x all squared, which is u squared. So I get 3u squared minus 5 times, instead of the square root of x, I'm going to have a u, minus 12 equals 0. So now all we have is a quadratic equation to solve. Hopefully it will factor, but the leading coefficient of the u squared is not a 1. So I'm going to use the AC method. So A in this case is 3, and C is negative 12. So 3 times negative 12 is negative 36. I need two numbers that multiply to negative 36 and add to B, which is negative 5. Since they multiply to a negative, the signs are opposite. And if they add to a negative, the bigger number has to be the negative. So I could have 1 and negative 36 that multiply to negative 36. But what does 1 plus negative 36 add to? Negative 35. Not the number I'm looking for. Hopefully the numbers we're looking for come to you quickly, but if not, I'm going to show you a systematic way of getting the numbers we need. But to save time, I'm going to put the video on pause for a second. So if you can't find the numbers, you say, does 2 divide into my number? Yes, negative 18 times. 2 plus negative 18 did not give me the negative 5 I wanted. Does 3 divide into negative 36? Yes, negative 12 times. It didn't work. But finally, does 4 divide into negative 36? Yes, 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. And 4 plus negative 9 is a negative 5, which is the number I'm looking for. These are not my factors. That's the what I'm going to break down my middle term into. Instead of negative 5u, I'm going to write plus 4u minus 9u minus 12 equals 0. So I broke my negative 5u down into 4u minus 9u. Now we have four terms. How do you factor four terms? By grouping. What do the first two have in common? u. You factor a u out and you get left with 3u plus 4. Bring down the middle sign of a negative, and what do the last two have in common? 3. And you factor a negative 3 out of a negative 9u, it's going to leave a positive 3u. Factor a negative 3 out of a negative 12, it's going to leave a positive 4 equals 0. Now, is this binomial the same as this one? Yes, that's your common binomial factor. You factor in front. 
And what does it leave behind? U minus 3. So now we've factored a quadratic equation. Two factors multiplied together equal 0. Set each of them equal to 0. So 3u plus 4 equals 0 and u minus 3 equals 0. On the first one, subtract 4 from both sides. 3u equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 3. You get u equals negative 4 thirds. And the second one, u minus 3 equals 0. Add 3 to both sides. You get u equals 3. But remember, we haven't solved the equation. We only found u. The problem wanted to know what x was. So u was equal to the square root of x. So we know the square root of x now equals negative 4 thirds. And the square root of x equals 3. Well, can the square root of a real number ever equal a negative number? No. So that solution is extraneous. Can the square root of x equal positive 3? Yes. So we're going to solve this by squaring both sides of the equation. So the square root of x all squared is x equals 3 squared is 9. But I'm not done yet. Remember, my original equation had a square root in it, so I must check my answer. So plug 9 into the original equation. Does 3 times x, which is 9, minus 5 times the square root of x, well, x is 9, minus 12, does it equal 0? 3 times 9 is 27, minus the square root of 9 is 3, 3 times 5 is 15, minus 12 equals 0. 27 minus 15 is 12, does 12 minus 12 equal 0? 0 equals 0, that is a true statement. So this equation has one solution of x equals 9.